Good morning, FS Club. Welcome back, channel. Welcome to FS Daily News. It is finally August. We have some news to go over. We have a testing list, and then, of course, we got some new mods. Also, we are only a uh, hold on 112 days away from farming some later 22. Okay, before we get into it, guys, make sure you guys put in the comment section below hashtag FS Daily News. Come on, let's try for 300 likes on this video. Roll that intro. Let's go. Nothing's gonna get in our way. We will be the biggest band in time. Welcome back. So the first thing to go over, of course, is the testing list. The first testing list for August. Well, on PC testing, we have the Echo House, the Annaburger HTS 2279 Multi-Lane Plus, Automatic Warehouse, Bantico, Beaver, Big Bail Grab, Big Modern Metal Shed, Brito Pro Version, Chamber Valley, Classic Fence Pack, Demolishable Dynamic House, Farmhouses Pack, For Shrit T890, Garage with Removable Silo, Gasparado FBR 940, Goias, Power BW Grabber Pack, Irrigation Set, Chrome Big X Carpet. And this one I am not going to pronounce. Kujawasco, I believe. Lair SP290. Large Spanish Horse Stable. Lizard FBR940. Lizard New R Series. Marble Fountain. Nordic Country. Packside Tipper Trans 100 TC. Pack Small Shelter. Placeable New Holland. Rabbicino. Slurry Shuttle. Upper Bavaria. US Trailer Attacher. Valley View. Weed Trimmer. And last but not least is the Welcome to This Is Ireland Multi-Fruit. Now on consoles, we have the Bedaranti Pack, Brazilian Chicken Coop, Event Map, and then last but not least is the Man 33, 414, 41, 403 Pack. Now mods we're going to be tested is only seven current as until guys is one workday. So that right there is the first testing list for August. Now on to the regular news for today. The first one though is from Polycounts. The John Deere W200 series will be getting an update either this week or next week. But what will the update include? Add a new original sounds, add a new lizard front tires, add a decal on the steering wheel, change drop area which is now narrower, change color on the steering wheel in dark brown, fixed collisions, fixed color on a few parts, and fixed pivot of the steering wheel. Uh, so that's going to go good. That is probably the best mower in the game, well, at least in my opinion it is. So if you guys have not downloaded that mod, make sure you guys do and definitely rate all mods. Okay, the next piece of news we got for today is from Case Aries modding in their Trident. It is getting closer and closer to being done. He left a few pictures and he said now onto the normal map phase. So hopefully this does come out before FS22. I'm really excited about this one and another case sprayer that should be coming very soon. And then now the next one, if you guys haven't heard, there is a small, I mean, very small excavator coming to a farming simulator. And this is the John Deere 50G by Ambassador Illy. He said he has been working on it and it will soon be available on PC and console. And then we have an update from 4D modding, and this is on his high spec 2300 SAR. He had this to say about this weekend. Made a lot of progress this weekend on the functional elements of the tanker. Rail gun and rear injector are now functional. Hose mod compatible, so if you are on PC and you want to use the manure system, you can do that. Can be filled using the boom on the boom config tank. Remaining items to be completed. Skin hoses, dirt textures, and wear textures. Remember, this will be coming out on PC and console, and for consoles, this will be rebranded. 
Okay, now the next piece of news, if you guys seen that Tesla list, there was something called the Big Bale Grab. Well, here it is right here. It is made by AMG Agri Modding. It makes quick work of moving bales from a field stack to a trailer. I love this thing right here, especially if you're quite talented with the controls. It has plenty of decals on it, including custom detail, like a manufacturer plate. It's currently sold as a Lizard UK brand, but this may change later on in the future. Cannot wait for this thing to come out. And then now onto the last piece of news for today is, well, this was announced last week, but I didn't get to put it in FS Daily News. The Patterson for all platforms, the Patterson PLS5510 liquid cart. Uh, so it will be coming out to all platforms. Some of the specs on it, let's see, it holds up to 22,712 liters. Price is 109,900. Power requirement is 520 horsepower. So you're gonna need something pretty big to pull this thing. Features, tracks, Realistic belts, 032 for saucy tracks, new Goodyear tires, multiple tires, wheels, track options, support for the John Deere C850, frame and hose colors, realistic lights, and realistic prices. Progress on it, modeling, UV map, textures, Giants editor, XML, and internal testing completely done. It is going to be on the Mod Hub very soon. And actually, I am going to be getting an early preview copy. And on Wednesday, I will be showing it off probably on live streams and a first look video. So definitely stay tuned in this channel for that. Okay, now the next thing to go over for today, guys, is of course the new mods. The first mods for August 2021. Well, anyways, the first new mod on consoles, guys, we got the new Holland L215. Loader specs on it, 25,000. Power, 52 horsepower. You can also change the room color configurations on that. As you see, we got yellow, black, gray, brown, or dark blue. Beacon light, no or yes on that. Actually, no, yes, right? Yeah, so there we go right there. Also, this is 11 slots, and this is made by EY Modding. Let's actually go in the game and take a look at this. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's get inside, let's see. Oh, that opens up when you get inside, you see? And closes. There we go. All right, let's see, what does this do? Okay, there we go, that all works good. Up, down, nice. Horn, and I think that is it. Let's start the engine. Top speed is 11 miles an hour. Beacons, uh, lights, let's see, one set of lights. Looks like just one set of lights. Here is the interior, really nice interior. Okay, let's turn it on. Okay, there we go. And the dashboard does it. Well, that little bit dashboard right over there lights up. Uh, here we go. Let's see. I like all the little stickers on there. I always like the attention to details. And really good turning radius, as you guys can see. There we go, right there. Okay, this is a really nice mod. Let me see if I can see the stickers. Uh, there's a lot down here. Really nice, really nice mod, I like this one. Okay, now the next mod for today is actually something kind of really unique. This is the Lizard multi baler Combine, which includes three things. The first one is this right here. Uh, this is also made by Caster. Uh, this is 14 slots, holds up to 4,000 liters, 110 horsepower is required, but as you see at the bottom right there, a baler turns loose straw, grass or hay into convenient, convenient bales. A bale wrapper packs grass bales in foil so they can ferment into silence. But this one also can press corn chaff into silage bales too, so that is very unique. Uh, but anyways, let's see the options. You can change the foil color, white, black, pink, or green. Design color, pretty much any color you want. And then main color the same way too. Uh, this comes with that. And then it also comes with Garner Miscellaneous, there it is right there, the multi-baler bunker, which is 15,800, six slots on this one. And this can be placed using a front loader. This actually goes into the front of that right there. Uh, you can change the main color on that one too. And then let's see, it also comes with a multi-adapter, which you need for this. One slot on this, $3,800. Uh, options though, main color can be changed on this one. Very unique mod right there. Okay, now onto the next mod we got for today is this one right here. This is the old bale trailer by JZD Verfricky. I believe that's how you say that. But anyways, it is five thousand dollars. You can change the main color to any color, the rim color to any color, design. You got standard, you got lights, and then back to standard wheel setup. You got wheels one, wheels two, and then back to wheels one. This is also only two slots. Okay, now on to the last regular mod for today, which is this one right here. This is the Bauer Eric's Wheel Roller. 
Uh, let's see, it is $4,999. Change room color to any color, main color to any color. Willowbrand, you got Trailboard, you got Michelin, you got Midas, you got Nakian, uh, and also Lizard. Trailboard, you got the TM 800s, the Twin Wheels, the 422 SBs, 428 SBs, and then back to 800. Michelin's, you have the Axle Bib 600s, the 650s, the Cargo X Bibs, the Car Cargo X Bibs HF, sorry, and then Mega X Bibs, and then back to there again. You also got weight increase from water, two tons, two uh, five tons, three tons, three five tons, four tons, four five tons, and then back to two tons. And what this is, this goes over, of course, your silage big uh, silage bunkers, too compact. I can't even speak today. What the heck? Uh, but anyways, also 3.0 working meters. It is only one slot. Okay, the next mod we're gonna be going over is a placeable, the only placeable for today which is under animal pins, which this is called Arched Cow Shed by Mikhail LS. Uh, but anyways, this holds up to 15 cows. It is 10 slots, $100 a day, $100,000. Let's go ahead and place that real quick. It does take up a pretty pretty good area. Oh wow, it actually lets, lets me put it right there. That's all the way in the next one. Okay, uh, let's put it right there. Uh, let's actually take a look at this. Really nice though. Okay, go over right over here, and then looks like there is for the slurry, and if you're on PC, looks like you do got the manure hose system. Uh, this looks like, is this for chaff? No, those look like that is for like manure and stuff. Can you actually go into here? Yes, you can, open gate. So there we go right there, looks like food. Open that one up, can we open that one up? Gotta get really close to it, open it up. Okay, there we go right there. Here is where you get your cows. So let's get 15 cows real quick. There we go. And oh, there they are. There they are. Okay, it looks like milk right here. Looks like water, food right over there. It's a pretty closed in pen. All right, let's go over to here. Okay, really nice placeable. I think that is about it. Yes, it is about it. Okay, so that is all the new mods for today, but we did get some updates, so let's go over those updates real quick. And the first update we got for today was, was for American Life of Farming. The change log on it, Xbox issue sorted. So that should fix the roads. Let me know down in the comment section below if he actually fixed your guys' roads, because I never had a problem with it. Then the next update after that one, we got the American Shed by Ada Modding. The update on this one, let's see, improved file size, remove season admirers, new store images, and also optimize the XML on that one. The next one after that one, we got the Russell Mash Acros 595. The change log on this one, price change from 105,000 to 214,000. That is a huge price difference. Harvester sounds changed, some textures have been fixed, interior materials have been improved, and trailboard wheels improved on that one. Then we also got an update for the three point gooseneck receiver hitch from Mir Family and Drew Hodgins. Let's see the change log on this one. Added saddled trailers attachment on that, and that is it. Then we also got an update for the Forschritt ZT300 303. The change log on this one mud flaps added, three point support ad adapted, fixed bug on doors, and fixed minor bugs on that one. And then an update also, of course, on the wrecked boat. Let's see the change log on this one. Improved i3D files. Added different models, improved the XML, and new store and icon image on that one. And then now finally, the last update for today was for the old American wall pack. The update on this one, let's see, added some more walls. So that right there is everything. Okay, so like always, that was the news, the new mods, and of course the testing list for today. Now today's schedule, after this video, I might be able to get out one more video, but that will be it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Remember, if you guys did, make sure you guys do hit that like button. If you have a sub, make sure you guys do. And if you do hit that sub button, make sure you ring that bell notification and Walk into the club, guys. Well, that is pretty much it for the day. Have an amazing day, guys. Talk to you guys later. Peace. Man, I always had stories about the city line and the crazy nights. I figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out. See what it's all about. But the traffic